In this video, I'll be taking you through an in-depth review of the bookkeeping platform, Wave. We'll be going over their pricing, the different features that they have, pros and cons, and much more. So be sure to watch through the entire video if you're considering what software to use to manage your transactions and process payroll for your business. Okay, so here I am on the Wave landing page and we'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to check this out. But basically it's a very simple, you know, sign up process. You just enter in your email and you put in a password and then you click on create your free account. And just to go over some of their features, they have invoicing, payments, accounting, banking, payroll, and advisors. And what's cool is that they also have a blog that allows you to learn all about accounting and taxes. And they also have guides for, you know, what is an LLC, for example, what is a cash flow statement, and a ton of other blog posts that'll teach you a lot about business. Now, if I go over here to the pricing, then you're gonna see that they have a bunch of things for free. They have the invoicing that's free, accounting is free, banking is free, and pretty much all the basic features are free. Now, the only things that are gonna be costing you money are if you accept payments through wave so they'll be taking 2.9 percent plus 60 cents on any credit card transactions and then they're going to be charging you a 3.4 percent fee along with 60 cents per transaction that you use with american express with any bank payments you'll just be paying a one percent fee so this is all pretty standard for payment processors and then over here for payroll you have 40 dollars per month and then 20 dollars per month for self-service states they also have coaching for 379 dollars and then they also have bookkeeping support for 150 dollars per month but i I would say for 99% of you guys watching this video, most of you guys are just gonna need these three things that you guys can get for free. And then you might even need the payroll right here, which is only 40 bucks. Okay, so here I am on my own Wave dashboard just to show you guys how everything is. And basically here on the left-hand side, you have a bunch of things. You have the launch pad, you have the dashboard, sales and payments, purchases, accounting, banking, payroll, reports, Wave advisors, and tax filing. Now, if I go ahead and click on the launch pad, you're gonna see that this is basically a starting point that they'll be able to take me to any step that I need to take. So let's say I want to you know, create an invoice, I would just click on this. If I wanna automatically sync transactions, then I would click on this. And if I wanna pay any employees and run any payroll taxes, then I can do that here. If I go ahead and click on the sales, then that's gonna allow me to go to estimates, invoices, payment setups, recurring invoices, checkouts, customer statements, customers, and products and services. For most of you guys, I would say that you probably only be needing the invoices and the recurring invoices. But if you guys also wanna keep track of things like customers and products and services, then you guys can also do that right here. Just to show you guys how their invoices work, it's very simple. You would just go to the invoices right here and then click on create an invoice. And then from here, you're gonna be able to add a customer. So you just click on this and then you go ahead and click on create a new customer right here, which will create one for you. From there, you could change things like the invoice number, the PO number, and the invoice date. And then if I scroll down, I can go ahead and change things like adding an item. So let's say for example, I just wanna do services. So I'll just go ahead and click services right there. And as you guys can see, it already pre-populated it for 3000 because this is one of the invoices that I normally use. And from here, you can also select a tax, add a discount, and you can also add in some notes as well as change the footer. Then down here, you can go ahead and click on preview. And this is basically gonna allow you to preview what your invoice looks like. And yeah, as you guys can see, it populated with the invoice number, the date, the amount. And yeah, this is a good way for you guys to preview in case you guys need to change anything. From there, you guys can go ahead and click on save and continue. And as you guys can see, it's gonna tell me that I need to add a customer. But once that's done, it'll go ahead and save. And then it'll allow you to send that invoice to your customer through email. And then you can also send yourself a copy through your own email. So yeah, super simple process for invoices. And it's pretty much the exact same thing with the recurring invoices. So if I go to that, you guys can see that I have one already. And this basically allows me to automatically send out an invoice every two weeks. So let's say your business has a recurring customer and you wanna invoice them every two weeks, so you guys can do that. And you can also do it on a custom schedule. So if I go ahead and click on the create a recurring invoice, you guys are gonna see that it's the exact same process as before. The only thing now is that if I save the invoice, you guys are gonna see that it's gonna allow me to set a schedule. And you guys can see that I can make this repeat monthly or I can make it repeat daily, weekly, yearly, or on a custom schedule. Then right here, I can also customize it to go for a certain date of every month. Right here, I can create the first invoice on a certain date and have it end at a certain date. And I can also have the invoice created at a certain time zone. From here, it's gonna allow me to take automatic payments, but if you don't want that, you can switch to manual payments. And if I go ahead and click on next right here, it's gonna allow me to automatically send the invoice, and for this case, every month, or I can have it just automatically create the invoice and I will manually send it myself. And then if I go to purchases right here, so this basically allows you to monitor your cash flow so you can create bills from vendors and mark them as paid to track your expenses. And if I go over to vendors right here, I can go ahead and add some vendors that I have. And then I can also add my products and services. And then if I go down 
down to accounting right here. It's gonna allow me to access my transactions. And this is where you'd be able to invite your bookkeeper to Wave to do this for you. And if you wanna do this, then all you have to do is go to your dashboard. And from here, you just have to scroll down. And then right here where it says invite a guest collaborator, you just click on that. And then from here, you'd be able to invite the user. So right here, it's gonna ask me to add in their name, their email, the position in the business. So in this case, it would be a bookkeeper. And then you can also allow them to manage payroll and then just go ahead and click invite user right here. Then if I go to banking, this is where you're gonna be able to connect your bank accounts so that they can see your transactions. And right here for payroll, this is where you're gonna be able to you know, add any employees. So for example, if you have an S Corp and you hire yourself under your own S Corp, this is where you can put in your own information as well as any other employees that you have. And then you'll be able to enter in all of your tax information as well so that it can run payroll automatically for you. And just to show you guys an example of how it looks, basically I have automatic tax payments active. So Wave is basically gonna handle all the taxes that are on this payroll. They're also gonna do automatic direct deposit, which all you have to do is just input your bank information and they'll do it automatically for you. And right here, you can see that this is the time period that I choose to run payroll. And so from here, all I have to do is click on review this payroll. And then I would just have to click on approve this payroll and then it's gonna automatically send it out for me. Now, if I go over to employees, this is basically gonna allow you to manage all of your employee information. And if I go ahead and click on add an employee right here, you're gonna see that it's gonna allow me to enter in all the information. So their address, their social security number, as well as all the work information like their wage, as well as the date of hire. And if I go back to the transactions in my accounting, you guys can see that I can add some income, I can add an expense, and if I click on more right here, I can also add a journal transaction. I can connect my bank and I can even upload a bank statement. Down here, if I go to my reports, it's gonna allow me to access all of my financial statements as well as my tax report and my payroll. And there's a bunch of other metrics that you can also see like the customers, the vendors, as well as some detailed reporting. And yeah, as you guys can see, it's a very, very simple platform to use, especially if you're a beginner, their interface is you know pretty easy to navigate. Okay, so now let's go over some of the pros and cons about Wave. When it comes to the pros, obviously you have the fact that Wave is free and there aren't any contracts or hidden charges. You can also handle multiple businesses on one account. And I'd say this is a great option for small businesses that are just getting started. As you guys saw, it was very user-friendly and everything on the website was pretty self-explanatory. Another great thing about Wave is that they also have a mobile app where you can send invoices from pretty much anywhere as long as you have your phone. So that's super convenient and I've actually used this feature a lot. You also have unlimited users that you can add, unlimited bank connections, as well as unlimited credit card connections. Now, when it comes to the cons, of using Wave, the very first thing that I'll say is that it's not advanced. There aren't any advanced features like time tracking and inventory management, and you also have limited support from their help center if you're on the free plan. But I will say that from my experience of using Wave, their email support was super helpful with getting me set up with my payroll processing, but obviously that's not for the free plan, that's for the plan with the payroll. And yeah, overall, the biggest con that Wave has is that it's just not scalable. So although Wave's free accounting can be a great option if you run a small business, big businesses are gonna find that Wave is extremely limited. Unlike platforms like QuickBooks and FreshBooks, Wave doesn't offer multiple plans to increase the software's functionality. For example, QuickBooks doesn't have a free plan, but they do offer four paid plans with additional features, which makes it a great choice for businesses that plan on growing. With the higher tier QuickBooks plans, you also have access to time tracking, inventory management, and employee expenses, which are not offered on Wave. But we actually recommend using a platform like QuickBooks and FreshBooks for more serious businesses, because if you have a ton of transactions, bank accounts, and you need more than just the essentials, you're gonna to wanna to go with something a little bit more advanced than Wave. Plus, most accountants and bookkeepers are more familiar with QuickBooks than they are with Wave, but that doesn't mean that you can't find people that are specialized in Wave. It's hard to be a free accounting software if you're a small business on a budget, but if you're a bigger business with more than a handful of employees, it's honestly just better to go with a platform like QuickBooks so that you can access advanced features and a bunch of third-party integrations. When you look at the pricing, FreshBooks starts at $17 per month and QuickBooks starts at $30 per month. So they're still super affordable if you're just starting starting out. And in the future, you can always just upgrade as your business grows. As always, we'll be leaving links down below in the description for you guys to check out all these platforms. But yeah, anyways, I hope this video was helpful in giving you a little bit more information on Wave and how the platform works for different businesses. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you want more content just like this. Here in this channel, we make a ton of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. Anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.